guys welcome back to the channel thanks for joining me well as you know for the last four or five weeks I've been chasing all the colour in the new forest and trying to grab whatever I can and uh, obviously it's all but gone now and uh, I thought I'd change the goalpost a bit and set myself a new bit of a challenge and see if I can find some mood some you know nice moody scenes I mean it is actually quite bright today but uh, it talks of clouding over later on and getting a bit duller so fingers crossed it will but it's also a bit of a scouting session today as well so we'll see how we get on but I was in the forest on Friday and luckily it was one of the last frames that I took I'll pop it up now I was on the way back to the van and uh, I just turned a corner and came across obviously I was following one of the, the forest drives back obviously covered in leaves and uh, there was a bit of misty rain about and it was getting quite dark. I think this frame was actually taking on about three second exposure. <laughs> about ISO 800 or something like that. But um, yeah, it made a lovely scene. As you can see, the light was sort of coming, piercing the canopy at the end of the drive and uh, just had some lovely oak trees and a few beaches and it made a lovely spooky scene. So that's the sort of thing I'm after anyway. But we'll see, I've come to a particular place in the new forest where I've, I've spotted some scenes before that that might work for a bit of mood so uh, that's the plan anyway let's go and see what we can find Well, I've come across these lovely gnarly oaks. Now they are obviously quite tall, so I'm gonna to have to stay well back from them to get a decent composition without hardly any sky in, you know? So I've got to try and keep, keep well back from them to get the right angle. But uh, there's some lovely gnarly branches, lots of twists and turns. Might be a bit of a, a tricky one this, but I'm determined to get something, you know, quite different for, for my style anyway, from what it's been for the last, four or five weeks autumn's gone now and hopefully we can try and try and find a bit of moodiness so i'm gonna have a really good walk round and see if i can find some sort of composition and uh, see if we can grab a frame well <laughs> I have walked round and round and round and right up the hill to get different angles and it's about beating me. Obviously I'm on the 70 to 200, you know, to get, get the length and I have been, I say I've been round everywhere. Now I have found one oak and it is proper gnarly, but it's really tall, it's at the top of the canopy and I could just about get a good composition and then there's a giant holly bush in the way. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I can't really point it out to you. It's uh, just there, <laughs> right in the back, in the backdrop. You can probably see it now. It's probably focusing on it, but yeah, it's a lovely gnarly, gnarly looking oak. I say it's it's almost in the shape of a T. But uh, so, last ditch effort, and one of the reasons that I bought it for, I'm going to launch the drone, and just see what sort of angle I can get if I get it sort of halfway up the tree because obviously I'm gonna have a nice dark backdrop the oak is really light coloured that's what's attracted me because obviously I'm looking for light coloured wood or light coloured bark with a dark background just for that that eeriness that moodiness and uh, <laughs> but um, it's not happening so I'm gonna get the drone launched and just see if we can get any sort of frame from up above I'm not sure if I've spoke much about my drone. Um, I know, I think I've, I've, I flew it on the uh, Brecon Beacons video. But uh, anyway, it's the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit. It's got a 20 megapixel Hasselblad gimbal camera on it. It's, it's pure quality and uh, I'm really happy with the results. I do need to start using it more and as you probably noticed, there's been a fair bit of B-roll in this video already because I must uh, must warrant owning it but um, now what I'm putting on here is some extendable legs from a company called Pigtech or PGY Tech and uh, just gives you an extra couple of inch of uh, height 
which is ideal for taking off in, you know, like what's on this forest floor, bits of bracken and all sorts and twigs sticking up. And obviously, when you, if you have to land it in a different area, you, you know, you're guaranteed that you can see the extra, I don't know if it's going to focus on that or not, but you can see the extra, extra length. And then you've got two legs, they just plunge on the front and the back two, they clip on. And uh, say, it just gives you a bit more leeway where you can land and take off. But uh, anyway, it has gone a bit dull now, but that oak is still shining away. So I'll go and get launched and see if we can get a frame. Well, I'm not too sure if I've got a decent frame there or not really. <laughs> so busy concentrating on flying and, and bits and bobs, but certainly need the practice anyway, so it's all good practice. But fingers crossed I've got one or two frames to work with. And uh, I've certainly got some nice footage of, of the two oaks. So uh, I'll pop the image up now, guys. Hopefully I'll be able to pop one up anyway. And then uh, I'll pop a bit of footage on after it. I'm still a bit unsure about this frame actually. It's just the way that that branch just leads your eye out of the frame on the left hand side where I've cropped it because this branch was so long it just ended up mingling in with the, the neighbouring tree so I had to sort of crop it three quarters of the way along but uh, I just thought I'd pop it up anyway. Uh, let me know what you think. Well, how about this for a quirky looking tree? 
an old silver birch. And uh, now for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you'll probably recognize this tree. I was actually here about three weeks ago and uh, it was one of the days where on purpose, I left all the vlogging kit at home so that I could just have a nice relaxing scout around and uh, there's you know, no pressure to do any vlogging, purely camera work. And uh, anyway, I, I came across this back then and uh, there was some nice light and uh, I decided to have a go at it and I, I, grabbed, I grabbed half a dozen frames and, uh, and popped it on Instagram. But it is a lovely looking, looking tree. Now, it was interesting because at the time I, I posted it on Facebook as well and a few other, a few other sites. And, I commented that the right hand side branches it's such a shame that they're missing because it's not sort of symmetrical it's a bit left hand heavy and um, I got I got one comment that said well no that actually adds to the quirkiness I think it is what it is and I thought you know you're right and uh, it, it is what it is um, we can all wish for these things for trees to look slightly different and branches to be different shapes but it is what it is and it's certainly a quirky looking tree and doesn't it just stand out in amongst all these pines that have lost their needles now but um, a little bit less colour than there was three weeks ago but still nice and quirky and I've just taken some more frames of it again and uh, yeah I absolutely love this spot it's, it's lovely and I'm pleased that I've uh, I've had the time today and come to this enclosure to show you guys around it so uh, yeah it's really nice now obviously on the 70 to 200 now I'm at f5 because I wanted a, I wanted to sort of bring out the tree and and lose lose the depth if you like so that it, the tree was quite quite prominent so i'm at f5 what am i at it's well, obviously it's about four o'clock now so we're losing all the light but i'm at uh, 0.8 of a second and uh iso 100 obviously so um i managed to keep the iso down and uh, obviously there's not a breath of wind today so there's no leaf movement so i can have the shutter speed nice and slow so i kept it at iso 100 I've tried one frame with the polarizer on to see if I can bring a little bit of colour out, but it's not really affecting it to be honest. I've tried it at several different settings, but yeah, so that's the polarizer. I've had it on and off, and uh, it's just a lovely frame. I mean, I'll do a bit of post work on it again because I did last time. I sort of give it a bit of a vignette just just to just to tone down the outer edges of the pines and, and emphasise the green moss that's. That it's covered in and um, it's a really nice image but it, I'm pleased I'm gonna have another shot at it obviously with no leaves on this time so there's no color whatsoever so it is just quite uh, hopefully the moody shot that uh, that I've been looking for today but um, there's just a nice bit of light on the pine to the right hand side of it as well and it obviously it's nice and backlit so yeah I love I love this spot and it's a spot I shall keep coming back to but um, anyway I'll pop the image up now guys and I hope you like it Well, it's just the job that. That's a lovely quirky looking birch, isn't it? So, a bit of a cheat, but being there before, but uh, I knew I had that to, to go back to to get a bit of a moody frame and totally different light today anyway. So, got plenty of nice frames of that now. But uh, I'm just pleased that I've been able to show you guys it as well. So, uh, I was kicking myself. It's often the case when you come out without the vlogging gear, you often get the best frames, like the frame that I put on the video at the, the start where I was out last Friday. and. Uh, caught that lovely scene no vlogging kit but uh, anyway you have to leave it at home sometimes and just enjoy a day's photography you know but uh, anyway jobs are good and oh dear me that's the day gone definitely lost the light now what's this at ISO 1600 <laughs> so uh, no more photographs now but uh, anyway jobs are good and I hope you enjoyed that guys so we'll uh, try and get some more moody stuff for the next few trips out and see what we can find got quite a few places uh, 
that I know I can go and uh, hopefully find some moody stuff and hopefully not quite as challenging as there's those last oaks but anyway hopefully we've got some nice stuff on the drone you'll have seen by now if we have so yeah jobs are good and right homeward bound time for a brew thanks ever so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed that and uh, look forward to uh, receiving your comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can if you could remember to give the video a, a like that'd be much appreciated great way to help the channel out by liking the video and uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't yet that'd be much appreciated as well and uh, yeah jobs are good and Take care guys, thanks for watching, catch up soon.